Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. And today is going to be kind of a mixed up shout out update, you know, what's going on type video. I've uh, been, you know, kind of behind the eight ball trying to get things done. I have been getting some stuff knocked out, um, but small things have just taken way too much time. For instance, I went to replace these worn out mud stars off of some Kyosho Pegasus wheels with some new Sand Supers. You know, it's a Kyosho wheel. It's Kyosho tire. Um, now granted, they're made far, far apart, but still 1.7 inch and designed the same way these are. Getting these tires on these wheels is probably the most frustrating set I've ever done. It took me over an hour just to mount two tires to the two wheels. Now most of it is because the rubber on these are so soft compared to these. You know, this doesn't fight you as much as these. So these are just like the Tamiya, you know, Grasshopper and Hornet wheels and tires. You have a three piece, you have the inner ring, you have the front, you have the back, and then you have screws around here. So it's a, an old school beadlock. Um, the problem is, is there is not enough room in between the inner ring and the wheel out the outside of the wheels and it causes the tire to want to grab and drag itself into the tire so you get these wrinkled up sidewalls and then if you try to lubricate it at all which i was using the dry lube um which doesn't seem to damage anything it doesn't hurt the plastic doesn't hurt the rubber um the problem with that is, you know, you would get it sucked into the wheel over here and this side was going right out. Um, so dry, lubricated, wet, didn't matter. They were a pain, but they're done. And I'm never doing another set. <laughs> I promise myself, I am never doing another set. So let's get into the fun stuff. So shout outs. Um, I got stickers from Trey at All RC Fun. Uh, I got his Meredith Strong sticker and I'll put that up here. And then I also got another pair of little kind of chrome illusion type uh refractory stickers with the all rc fun on there so i did stick one of the meredith strong on the back of the uh rock crawler here hopefully you guys can see that um and we have trey small one and the meredith strong up here on the board and i thought i had already had an all rc fun sticker up here but I didn't, so I'm glad he sent both. So we also got a sticker in from the UK from Martin H's RC, and I'll put that up here. Now, um, if you guys aren't familiar with either one of the channels, Trey is a great guy. He loves doing, you know, very detailed builds, and the man loves lights. <laughs> <laughs> I envy him for his patience in wiring and fiddling around with those little light controllers. I don't have that skill set in me. I hate wiring and, you know, farting around with little electric controllers. Yeah, frustrating. But, you know, he'll take a truck like this and put 37 lights on it and blinking in different sequential patterns. And, you know, he does a lot of um, rescue vehicles and military type vehicles. So, you know, a lot of trooper vehicles and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. Go over and check his channel out. I'll link it down in the description below. And if you guys have not heard about his daughter, Meredith, a little over a month and a half ago, roughly, I think it's been about 50 days, um, she got viciously mauled by a dog, had to get life lighted to a hospital, spent about a week in ICU, and then is still in recovery today. But that kid is an inspiration to us. And Meredith, if you're watching, you are one tough little cookie. And that smile melts my heart every time I see it. So you keep feeling better. We're all praying and pulling for you. And as well as the rest of Trey's family, you know, that was a traumatic experience for everybody. So our thoughts and prayers are with you. Now, moving on to Martin's channel. Martin's channel is a um, a little bit of review, a little bit of build, and then he also does a lot of race coverage from you know the vintage race series and stuff like that over there. So if you guys are interested in any of that, go over and check his channel out. Really nice guy. Um, he kind of goes through his cars, um, explains what he did, hop up parts and all this stuff and advantages of the hop up parts and why you put them on and all that stuff. And then of course the racing footage is awesome. You know, we don't have that here in the States, you know, a grass track like that running around is super cool. So I really enjoy watching those. So I'll have Martin's channel down in the description as well. Now, um, so we've covered stickers. I've gotten everybody's stickers out of the way, I believe. Um, and we covered my trials and tribulations with those terrible tires. So I have a pile of shirts here, and I'm not trying to sell you guys anything before anybody thinks that. Um, the first shirts I'm going to go through are shirts from a subscriber who 
we started talking, I believe it was back in the Ask Me Anything video uh, when that came out. We might have chatted a little bit before then, but it really kind of bloomed in that Ask Me Anything video. Um, and we started going back and forth talking about a project he wanted to do. So he wanted to take a Tamiya Blackfoot and monster truck it. So basically his idea was to take Cloudbuster tires, wheels and tires, and stick them on a Blackfoot. Now, Cloudbuster wheels and tires are very particular with the hubs and all this stuff. And I know they make adapters, but you know, a lot of those companies have kind of gone under or just don't have the stock um, hardly ever. So finding the right bits and pieces for that was hard. And so he did a ton of homework on his own. You know, he basically found out how to do all this. He did find a video. And if you guys haven't seen that, you know, go back to that Ask Me Anything video. It's linked down in the description of somebody else that had done that and kind of inspired him. Um, so he basically sat down and figured out what he needed. So he has some J concept wheels and, and tires on there, some different adapters to mount the wheels and tires on there. He had to get some, um, body post risers to raise the body up a little bit, but it looks super, super cool. But in all that conversation we had, um, he took it upon himself to design up a little character type thing. So he had drawn this cartoon character, which he calls danger duck a while ago. And he, incorporated a little bit of me into Danger Duck and he also incorporated a little bit of love of the lunchbox that I have and created this. So let me try to get it up here so you guys can see it. So it is Danger Duck driving kind of a lunchbox hot rod type thing and I'll put a picture of the the logo up here but if you guys notice Danger Duck has my actual beard photoshopped onto the duck itself. So I thought that was hilarious. So um, he was going to send me a mug and, you know, asked if that was okay. And I'm like, of course it is. And I said, you know, if you're going to get something made, I would love to have that on a t-shirt. Please let me, you know, send you the money so you can order that on a t-shirt for me. I didn't want to get his artwork. You know, it's his artwork. So I didn't want to, you know, have him send my, his artwork and me try to make a t-shirt of it. So all said and done, he sent two, one for me, one for my wife, and the mug. And unfortunately, I have the mug upstairs still. Um, I had to wash it. Um, but that's going to go down here on the shelf with the rest of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Brian, for that awesome gift. Now, Brian is does have a few videos up on YouTube, and he's reposted a couple. And he also just posted the video of the, um, the monster Blackfoot, I guess. My wife is texting me. Um, so if you guys are interested in checking that out and would love to support him, please go down the link in the description. It's Brian Mulcahy. Go to his channel, check out his videos, subscribe if you're interested in anything you see there. Um, give him a break. He's new to this, so there's not a whole lot of gabbering like, you know, me. Um, and, you know, he's a little bit leery about the, the the quality of it. I thought they looked great. You know, it's a nice chill little thing. He explains everything in the video and text. Um, so I thought he did a really good job. So go down and check that out uh, once you're done listening to me blather on. And you know, his videos cannot be any worse than mine because I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember or missed it a while back, probably this time last year, I got three Radio Shack Golden Arrows in an eBay auction. Now they're all in different states of, uh, good and bad and so basically i cherry picked all the best parts i stripped all of them down cleaned all three up cherry picked all the best parts and reassembled one as an all original untouched um golden arrow so there's there's no hop-ups there's no third-party parts there's no new modern electronics or anything in there so that one is just a stock shelf queen and then i took one and i modded it and put a grasshopper rear end on it and put modern electronics in there new servo all that stuff and that kind of had some of the the good parts on it um but it had a good body but the stickers were kind of ragged and i could not find decals stickers whatever you want to call them anywhere for the golden arrow so nostalgia rc reached out to me and saw that i was in need of decals and i worked with him to get these made now it was not easy i live in the u.s he's in the uk and we're emailing you know kind of pictures and proofs and stuff back and forth so i could test fit them on the car and you know give him my input on the coloration because you know he's going off of pictures and you know we got it done and they came out looking fantastic. 
So again, if you haven't seen that, the link was up there. Well, he started to put some um, t-shirts out. So this one is the Golden Arrow t-shirt and, um, you know, kind of inspired by that little build that we did together. And um, he also, he's got a bunch out there right now. Um, so when I saw this one, you know, I had to get that. So one, it's the classic RC-10 and it looks an awful lot like the one that I just got finished kind of refurbishing. <laughs> so had to buy that as well. So I will link down in the description um, his, uh, his Redbubble is the website you can get these off of. I will link that down below to Nostalgia RC's kind of Redbubble page. So I'm not associated with, you know, Nostalgia RC and his t-shirt sales at all. You know, I bought these on my own and I'm not getting any kickback or anything like that. Um, but, you know, they're really cool designs. He has another um, classic RC-10 one that's like, kind of like a cartoony bubbly one that I'm probably gonna pick up as well. Plus he has stuff for the, the uh, Nico and Tyco, uh, so he's got hoppers and the bandit and all different types of things over there. So go check that out and, you know, help support, you know, somebody else is helping support uh, the RC community. Um, I have the little Aero Avanti all built up. Um, it's ready to go. Um, the junior, um, the, the middleweight, I guess, is up next and then after i get that done we are going to start working on the, you know the actual arrow of anti um but again like i said things have just been taking a lot longer and you know you know the occasional wrench into the thing um i have been able to get the drone up one more time um and starting to take trying to take weekly pictures of all the woods around me and i'm going to keep doing that for the next month or so um so as the leaves change i'll kind of piece all that together so it's going to should start out nice and green and as it turns around and around and around everything should turn colors as long as the weather holds up and i don't end up putting the drone in a tree i'll get that video out as well at some point <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys everybody out there you guys be happy be healthy be safe i appreciate everybody hanging out with me as always and everybody have a great weekend see you